An isochoria is difference in pupillary sizes of two eyes. The underlying problem can be in smaller or in larger pupil. In order to identify the affected side, we perform light reflex. If smaller pupil constricts while larger pupil doesn't constrict, underlying defect is in larger pupil and the other eye is normal. It is because of lesion in parasympathetic pathway of affected eye, which fails to constrict larger pupil. Lesion can be pre-ganglionic, ganglionic or post-ganglionic. Pre-ganglionic lesion is due to oculomotor nerve palsy which is usually associated with ptosis. Ganglionic lesion can be seen in AD tonic pupil, which presents with light near dissociation. If we instill dilute pilocarpine in AD's affected eye, it will produce constriction of pupil due to denervation supersensitivity. While the same formulation cannot constrict normal eye. Post-ganglionic lesion can be at the level of neuromuscular junction due to atropine administration. Or at the level of pupillary sphincter due to any sphincter tears or other pathology. If upon performing light reflex, difference in pupillary sizes is not noticeable, then we must darken the room to see any difference. Upon darkening, if larger pupil dilates normally while smaller pupil shows little to no dilation or delayed dilation. The underlying pathology is in smaller pupil. It is due to lesion to sympathetic supply of affected eye, which fails to dilate the pupil. It can be seen in Horner's syndrome, which presents with other associated symptoms as well. If we administer a proclonidine in Horner's affected eye, it will produce dilation due to denervation supersensitivity, while the same formulation cannot dilate normal eye. It can also be seen in pharmacological administration of myotics. If the difference in pupillary sizes remains same in light as well as dark, and the noticeable difference is no more than 1 mm, with no dilation lag, it is probably a physiological anisochoria.